so many times it happened with Daniel, it happened with Joseph, and it happened with Ruth, and maybe others where something happens in their life and the person who's speaking to them says, and I have heard of you. In other words, they weren't out there trying to be their own press agent, trying to tout all their assets. No, God was making their name great and bringing them before great men. Proverbs 22, 29 says, if you see a man who excels at his work, he won't stand before mere men. He'll stand before kings. Proverbs tells us that your gift makes room for you. Somebody says, I want more room. Develop more gift. Your gift makes room for you. Not your network, your gift. The Bible tells us throughout Joseph's life that he found favor. Notice what it says. It says he found favor. Notice it doesn't say he asked for favors. It says he found favor. One day of favor is better than a thousand days of labor. One day of favor. You don't need everybody to like you. You just need Boaz if you're Ruth. You don't need everybody to like you. You just need the king, Xerxes, or uh, Azuraris, if you're Esther. There are 127 women in the Miss Persia beauty contest. The competition was stiff. It didn't matter if the other 127 contestants didn't like Esther. The only thing that mattered was if the king did. That's favor. Favor is how God makes up for lost time, poor choices, poor decisions. He sprinkles some favor on your situation, and boom, you get fast track. We've all been driving. What do you do when you get lost? You get off the exit ramp, you go over the overpass, and you drive back on the road to repentance. And God will help you make up the time. He uses favor to help you make up the time.